So I'm finally getting around to uh, using my dirt sifter. I built this thing, well, early last winter, so it's been sitting behind my garage for quite some time. Uh, the dirt out here is incredibly dry. It's been it's been uh, bone dry for like 55 days up here in western Washington. I, I've been waiting for it to get really dry because the drier the dirt is, the better it runs through the sifter. Uh, I have run this for, for a few test runs to kind of get it dialed in. I ended up adjusting the back. Uh, I, I raised it up with the chain links that I used, and you can see the table shakes. And then I lowered the front down um, quite a bit. I also ended up trimming up the boards that kind of provide the shoot action because they were rubbing on the frame, which was stopping some of the vibration. So I've ran some dirt through it, and I'll uh, give you guys the demo of how that works, and at the end we'll talk about what I think about it and really if I think it was worth it. can see here get you real close it's got some small rocks in it but nothing major you can see how much of this big stuff gets taken out so I live in western Washington, specifically out on the Kitsap Peninsula, and the piece of property we built this house on, uh, we have a lot of topsoil, several feet as, as a matter of fact, uh, and in the middle of summer when it's really dry out, this thing seems to work really well. Uh, it's able to sift out the large rocks pretty good, especially once I get down past that first top layer of organic matter. Even even with what I was running through here, you still see some of this organic stuff starting to build up. And after about half an hour of running, this builds up so much that I have to stop and actually rake off the screener deck um, because it stops the dirt from falling through. All right, so you saw that in action. I'm pretty happy with it overall. I was able to get all this uh, scrap steel for free from uh, my wife's grandmother who had it just lying around her yard. Went and picked all that up, and I built this, um, so it really hasn't cost me much. The shaker motor itself, which I'll provide a link in the description for, I think it was like $219, something like that. I'll uh, provide the link for that. Uh, it is an electric motor, works off of 110, so there's an extension cord that stays out here, but I managed, I'm, I managed to run it through the frame, which keeps everything out of the way of the tractor. Uh, the expanded metal isn't ideal for this application. They're, they make specific um, woven metal, I'll call it, that is used for this normally, but I got this stuff for free, so I'm not gonna pass that up. I'm pretty happy with the amount of shake it's got. The, using the chains to make the height here adjustable uh, worked really well. I, I have it down about as far as it will go. I actually just need to cut this extra piece of chain off now. Um, the angles seem to be pretty good. The grizzly bars made out of rebar seem to work pretty well. Overall, the construction and the price for me w was good, so uh, pretty happy with it so far. So when I built this, I had a rough idea in my head of what I wanted to build. However, it kind of came together as I went. And, and there's a few things like this goofy little corner I ended up having to whack apart and rebuild. Um, 
the grizzly bars on top I wanted to be removable because of how much they weigh so you can see they just lift off and I'm able to pick them up with the tractor and also the shaker deck is obviously removable with some shackles while I was building it I realized that I had to make it wide enough obviously for my bucket the width of my bucket so my bucket can drive underneath and scoop dirt and it clears with about three inches on either side which works pretty well as long as I have a nice straight run in to pick up the dirt with also the height of the grizzly bars needed to be the height that my tractor would lift to which is right about here um, in fact I have I can't be at full tilt or full roll or I won't clear this thing so when I after I dump the dirt I have to roll the bucket back to come back over the top but it works pretty well for for the size of the tractor I have um, and how dirt gets loaded and how it sifts through how I'm able to clean out the dirt from underneath of it it's been pretty uh, pretty handy so far one of the things I really recommend you evaluate before you start building a dirt sifter is how much dirt you really have on site to sift if you have to buy dirt and have it brought in to run it through a sifter it's really not going to be cost effective for you um, in my case i have a huge amount of dirt that i planned on moving from the beginning of when we bought our property and built our house that i'm just getting around to doing now but i have all this dirt to run through the sifter to turn into a lawn eventually so it's pretty cost effective for me considering i spent very little on building the shaker and i also have a huge amount of dirt to run through the shaker uh, really really look into how much dirt you really have available to run through the shaker because like I said if you have to bring it in I don't think it would be cost effective so this is what comes out of the shaker I ended up I end up with some pretty clean dirt I mean obviously the rock size is based on the size of the expanded metal I've got getting all the so I end up with pretty small rocks in there stuff that it works really well for a lawn um, and the amount of rock that comes out of my dirt is quite significant. I end up using this for a fill um, or to dump it back off a bank I have, and which is out of sight, out of mind. That about wraps up the demo for the dirt sifter. Uh, overall, pretty happy with it. Uh, for my application, it's working out really well. The dirt I have on site to sift doesn't cost me much money. It doesn't cost me anything. Uh, the materials it cost me to build the shaker out of didn't cost me much at all at all either i will link the shaker motor down in the description though to check that out really appreciate if you guys would click that subscribe button it always helps me out and maybe take a look at the dirt sifter build videos over here uh, my garage video series over here and i'll probably link some one of my brother's house videos down here i hope you guys got something out of this thanks for watching